President Obama and representatives from nearly 200 other countries are trying to reach an agreement to keep global warming in check. In December, the world will come together at the UN Climate Conference in Paris, and we will see whether or not we can muster the collective political will to reach an ambitious, comprehensive agreement. This is a critical year. Leo. How you doing, man? Thank you for Thank your time. You I really much. appreciate it. Last time we, we had a hug, everybody had a, did you see the result <laughs> of the thing after he dated? Oh, really? Oh, oh yes, I remember yeah. that. I, I forgot about oh, that. <laughs> Good to see you, Secretary. So, after decades <clears throat> of failed negotiations, what makes this negotiation different from all the rest? I remember the footage <clears throat> of uh, George Bush Sr. saying, we've just learned about this thing called global warming. We come to Rio proud of what we have accomplished and committed to extending the record on American leadership on the environment. I mean, we had climate summit after climate summit, and we've seen so little action. Well, let me tell you why this is different, and it really is different. Last year, President Obama was able to stand up in Beijing with Chinese President Xi and announce intended reductions in emissions for Paris. Well, guess what? When the two largest economies in the world and the two largest emitters in the world stand up and make a statement like that, that's created a momentum that never existed before. A lot of things are coming together. Tragically, the full measure of the negative impact of climate change is coming together, too. What's happened now is that you have mass populations that are moving as a result of climate. Climate refugees pouring into the capital. And tempers are fraying. Or you have huge fights over water, which could erupt into wars. And any extremist philosophy could appeal to people if they have nowhere to live, no way to live, and that's when people are vulnerable. If anybody thinks I'm kidding you about that, it's happening today. And the greatest fear about all of this is leaving this planet in better shape uh, than we were given it, and that's not what we're doing today.